Uh, thank you, LC. Could you now move the uh, launchers to Asthma's 97.0 and Elevation 74.0, please? Copy and work. Check item 152. ACS LC. This is ACS, go ahead. New launcher settings are ready for the ARC launcher. Azimuth 97.0, elevation 74.0. What would you like to know? Yeah, right now the aircraft is uh, currently working target number nine. Uh, we're trying to get him to uh, do an about face and um, or, or head north. Um, so we're trying to find some more information on him. LC, this is ACS. LC, go ahead. Uh, could you move the launcher to new settings of azimuth 97.0 and elevation 84.0, please? Copy and work. Check item 153. MM, this is Adam. This is MM. MM, Sir? this is Adam. This is MM. Uh like to comment that the uh, flight recorder download is going to take longer than 10 minutes due to starting five minutes earlier. Do you know about how much longer? Approximately two more minutes, MM. Copy that. ACS, LC. Go ahead. New launcher settings are in for the ARC launcher, azimuth 97.0, elevation 84.0. Copy that. Thank you. Check item 154 and item 155, please. RSO, PM. Go ahead, PM. Yeah, RSO, when we get a moment here in the count, if you could give us an update on what the, the shipping and boat situation looks like, that'd be great. I'm ready to do that. Let's go to uh, Channel 5, Range Anomaly Net. Copy that. I'll meet you there. MM, could you meet us on Channel 5? I'll be there. Adam, Adam check 156.
Adam, PLC. Go ahead, PLC. Are you complete with your testing on the Link 2? Yes, complete on Link 2. You can turn off all systems. Copy. PLC, check item 157. ROA, this is MNO on channel one, check step 158 and 159. 158, 159, check. MMTD, channel one. This is MM. Verify vertical payload checks complete. Verbal checks are complete, check 160. Copy programmer, reset the clock to project countdown time. TD ROA, uh, verify contact with Cape and FAA. TD, check item 162. RC ROA, established RF avoidance on pad two. In work. ROA, RC, you have RF avoidance. Copy. Photo ROA, align pad two cameras. RSO TD channel one. Go ahead. Will you guys be ready for test rockets in a few minutes when they finish aligning their pad cameras? Uh, we're working uh, a balloon right now. Um, as soon as we get that data, we'll be ready to let you know if we're good to go or not. Copy, what's the ETA on that? About five, Mike. Copy. ROA, LPM. Go ahead. Item number 66 is in work. Copy, fair find, uh, 166. Yes, sir. Thanks, bud. This is the Nest Walls Flight Facility Range Control Center. We are counting down this morning for a launch of a Terry Improved Malamute Suborbital Sunning Rocket. This morning's la launch will be a Subtech 6 mission, which is a test of several new suborbital rocket technology. Launch window this morning does run from 4 to 5 a.m. A couple things we are watching this morning uh, are that the, the winds are are still within limits. We are still green for winds, but uh, we are watching those to see if they're... TDRSO. Go ahead. Test rockets are out for wind waiting. We're red for wind waiting on test rockets. Copy. And just heard the range safety officer report now that uh, based on the latest balloon that the winds are out for test rockets. These are small rockets that we use for checking the radar so. systems. Go ahead. Yeah, at this point, since we are where we are in the count, I don't necessarily advise launching another balloon to hoping and hope to get test rockets in. What are your thoughts? I was just thinking it over and leaning towards x them for tonight. Okay, if you want us to launch another balloon for test rockets, let us know right now. Otherwise, we're going to line up our schedule for the main vehicle. 
Let's move to channel five and get the PM and the RC on there and just have a quick discussion. Roger, on to five. RC, we move to five. And all stations on channel one, this is TD. Uh, we just had a brief discussion on the anomaly net and we are going to forego test rockets tonight. We will not launch test rockets tonight. LPM, do you copy? LPM copies. ROA, this is Bodo. Go ahead. Item 166 is complete. Copy. LPM, ROA, Fairway, Pad 2 is clear. Pad 2 is clear. You can check item 167. Check 167. ACS, check 168. ROA, SC. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Currently, we have our radar aircraft conducting surveillance. We have multiple targets, and uh, all the targets are in work, and things are looking positive at the moment. Copy, check 169. SRPO, this is MM. Stand by MM, he's just getting back to console. MM, you call on SRPO? Yeah, can you meet me on channel 5, please? Roger. Still continue to count down for the launch this morning for the Subject 6 mission. Launch window runs 4 to 5 a.m. You did hear that the test tracker reported that we are going to not launch our test rockets, which are small rockets used for checking out our radar systems. And instead, we decided to uh, focus everything on the main vehicle, the interior improved Malamute, which is carrying the Subject 6 mission payload. The reason for the scrub on the test rockets is that we are currently, the winds are out of limits for us to launch those. And so, uh, safety PM really and MMTD channel in. one. PM on one. This is MM. You guys okay with go ahead and changing the, the clock now that we've foregone test rockets? There's really, uh, we don't have anything coming up till terminal count at the true 30 minutes. So if we reset it now, we'll, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, PM copies and concurs. There's nothing we're waiting on, so we might as well move it now. MM copies and concurs. And MM, this is PM. I just want to confirm that it is for 0432 T0.
That's correct. Local time. Copy. Programmer TD. This programmer. Can you set the clock for a T0 of 083200Z? Uh, copy, T0083200. And you just heard the discussion that we are now moving our launch time to 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time for this morning's launch. This was our targeted uh, prime time for the launch, even though we had a window that ran to 4 to 5. So we're now targeting a launch at 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time. Our window still remains to go till 5 a.m. ROA TD, check item 170. 170 is check. TDRSO. TD, go. Uh, Roger, Stephen F. Console for a couple minutes. Copy.
TD. This is PM stepping off console for a few moments as well. Copy. This is the Nassau Spike Stability Range Control Center continuing countdown for a targeted 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time launch for the Terrier Improved Mountain View, carrying the Subtech 6 payload, which is testing several new technologies for our astounding rocket program. These technologies include the deployment system for forming vapor tracers used to track the winds in space for studies of the ionosphere, a miniature deployment actuator for small spacecraft called CubeSats, a low-cost attitude solution system, and improvements in telemetry and flight recorders to increase the rates for data collected and transferred during the flight. 
The sub payload deployment method being tested on this flight uses small rocket motors like those used in model rockets to eject the sub payloads from the main payload. During the test, two sub payloads with mixtures of mainly barium will be deployed from the sounding rocket. In addition to the barium, two sub payloads contain small amounts of natural earth metals, lithium and strontium. By combining the metals and burning them rapidly, the mixture will produce enough heat and and vaporize the mixture to form clouds that will help to measure the wind in the transition region between the Earth's atmosphere and space. The vapor releases occur at approximately 220 seconds after launch at about 66 to and 86 miles above the Earth. The byproducts from burning these metals do not pose a risk to health on the, or the environment given their release in space. And the amount of barium, strontium, and lithium used in the test is much smaller than that used in a typical municipal 4th of July fireworks display, which is coming up within the week. The colors in these displays are the result of rapidly burning small amounts of these earth metals. For instance, barium generally produces a cloud with a mixture of blue, green, white, of blue, green, while strontium and lithium will produce blues and reds. If we have clear skies, the release of these vapor tracers may possibly see, be seen throughout the mid-Atlantic region from southern New Jersey to just about the North Carolina-Virginia border. The count has proceeded fairly smoothly this morning. The payload has been checked out. And while it was in both the horizontal and in the launch position, a couple items we are watching this morning are some boats out in the avoidance areas, but uh, surveillance reporting that things are looking positive for that and talking with the boats, and hopefully we can get that cleared by launch time. We're also watching the winds, uh, our mid-altitude mid and high-altitude winds are uh, still within limits but we are watching those to make sure, see if they are increased or not.
TDRSO Channel 1. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Results from balloon number five are in. We are still green for the main vehicle. However, we are continuing to trend uh, in the bad direction, uh, but we are still at 86.0 at our max elevation. I copy. And uh, if you want to meet me on channel five, I'll give you an update on surveillance. Moving to five. This is NASFOS Flight Facility Range Control Center. We have just passed the T-minus 60 minutes and counting mark towards the launch this morning of the Terry Improved Malamute with the Subtech 6 payload. We are targeting a launch this morning at 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time. Payload uh, this morning during check continues to be green. We're not working any issues whatsoever with the payload. For the range side, we are watching a couple things. Uh, as uh, mentioned <coughs> just a few moments ago from the range safety officer, from uh, the balloons that allow us to check winds at mid and upper altitudes, that uh, we are watching those winds and we are just within the limits uh, of those winds, so we're watching those very closely. Also, we are still uh, continuing to watch the range out in the Atlantic Ocean for uh, boats out in the avoidance areas. The surveillance officer did report, uh, his last report was that we do have several boats out there and they are watching that and uh, trying to contact those boats and trying to get those boats to move out of our impact areas. Hopefully everything uh, will continue to uh, go well this morning for the launch, just as it did for Thursday's launch when we launched the Terry Improved Orion rocket at 721 a.m. Eastern Time, carrying the Rock On and Rock That C student uh, payloads experiments. That uh, payload was recovered and uh, brought back here to Wallop, and the students did receive their experiments back from us to them at approximately 12.30 p.m. They were then able to uh, conduct their final analysis. So we are glad to see that uh, project was successful this week and that the students uh, through both both of those programs, the Rock On and Rock That C programs, uh, had a successful mission. We 
have a launch in mid-August, approximately August 12th. We'll be launching the Rocksat X payload on a carrier improvement Alamute. Rocksat X is the next level up from the student development programs that we do with the Colorado Space Grant Consortium. And uh, that, again, will be, right now we're looking at August 12th, and that will be a, approximately a 5.30 in the morning a.m. Eastern Time launch for that mission. Right now, we still continue to count down. Just coming up on the T minus 55 minute mark for the Terry Improved Malamute from the Subtech 6 mission. This is Wild Trench Control.
This is Nat Walsh Pipeso at Greenwich Control Center. We just passed the T minus 45 minute mark for the launch this morning of the Terry to improve Malamute suborbital sending rockets carrying the Subtech 6 payloads. For the flight this morning, the first day Terrier motor will burn out at approximately 0.93 miles altitude after launch, which occurs at 5.26 seconds. The second stage Malamute then would ignite at 17 seconds while the vehicle is 4 miles altitude and burns out at 28.7 seconds at 10.5 miles altitude. We have motor separation will occur at 45 miles altitude, 71 seconds after launch. And the vehicle is projected to reach its apogee at 85 miles at 188.6 seconds after flight. Total length of this uh, flight is fairly quick, about 15 minutes at the time uh, the payload is expected, which is coming down by parachute to impact in the Atlantic. Island, and then we will begin recovery operations to bring the payload back to Wallops. As we mentioned, that this part of this mission is to test some new deployment methods for vapor tracers used to study the ionosphere. And with those, the first detonation of the vapor, vapor tra tracers uh, should occur possibly 223 seconds after launch. And then a second one will form at 265 seconds after launch. These vapor tracers, if we have clear skies, are projected to be seen throughout the mid-Atlantic region from southern New Jersey to the North Carolina-Virginia border. PM and SRPO TD channel one. SRPO is here. PM here. Just looking for a status of PI or anything uh, you guys might be tracking that would hold us off besides for the issues we're currently working with uh, boats and safety. SRPO, do you want to take this one? Yeah, can you just stand by just for a second, please? Sure, that's fine. I'll give you an update. TDRSO channel one. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Balloon number six uh, results are in. Uh, still able to uh, win weight and keep us at 86.0. However, we're seeing uh, still some trending of the winds in the bad direction. Now starting to approach our azimuth limit as well. Copy. And TDR, so if you'd like to move to channel five, I'll give you a surveillance update. Roger, moving to five.
TD, SRPO here. John, she's on the phone right now. Roger, I'll stand by. Thank you. SRPO, TD, go ahead. Yeah, I'll give you a quick update on science. The um, the optical sites right now, duck is uh, is yellow trending to green, uh, wallops is green, so right now uh, with that and our experiments, we'll go. Copy all, thank you. And in discussions with uh, with the PI, um, TD, the window tonight will be, we got about a four minute window starting at 4.32. I copy that. And this will be based on science conditions, where the releases are and how, how long they'll be visible, but we really can't go much beyond four minutes. Copy. You just heard some updates. RSO TD channel one. RSO is on one, go ahead. I don't know if you just copied that status update from SRPO, but the PI has a window tonight of four minutes. Roger, four minute window. And you just heard an update from the Sounding Rocket Program office talking to the principal investigator that we are now looking at a four-minute launch window, which is 4.32 to 4.36 a.m. Eastern Time. This is the period that uh, where the science team using special cameras on the ground looking at the point where the vapor tracers are released that gives them the optimum viewing time to, to look at those vapor tracers. And so based on this, for the science portion of this mission, our window is uh, limited to four minutes from 4.32 to 4.36. You also heard the range safety officer reporting in that uh, winds currently are still green. However, we are right at the levels of our upper limits in order to launch this, uh, with the winds with, to support the mission. And also, we still continue to monitor uh, both that are out in the avoidance areas, and uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to get those to move that, uh, in time that we will be able to launch this morning. This is the Wall Street Con Control Center. ROA TD, check item 172. 
All stations are away. We'll be picking the count up back up at 30 minutes uh, in about three minutes. RC, ROA. RC, release RF avoidance on pad two, please. Copy, RF avoidance release. Control Center, we have just passed the ROA, RSO, Channel 1. Channel 1. Roger, prepare for preliminary wind weighted launcher settings. Prepare to copy. Azimuth, 1, 2, 2, decimal 6. Elevation, 8, 6, decimal 0. Roger, I'll copy Azimuth, 1, 2, 2, decimal 6. Elevation eight six decimal zero. Good copy. LC ROA. LC, go ahead. Set launcher to initial wind weights wind waiting settings of azimuth one two two decimal six. Elevation eight six decimal zero. Copy and work. TD PM MM, this is the RSO channel one. Meet me on channel five. ACS check one seven four.
ROA TD, check item 173. Check. We are ROA, I'll see. Go ahead. New launcher settings are in for the ARC launcher, azimuth 122.6, elevation 86.0. That's good copy, I'll see. LPM, ROA. LPM, go ahead. Connect carrier to firing console in Blockhouse 2. Okay, you can check item number 177. Check. All stations are away. Just a reminder, item 178 will start at the 20 minute mark. Item 178 will start at the 20 minute mark. And this is the Wildest High Facility Range Control Center. We're coming up on the T-minus 25-minute mark for the launch of the Cherry Improved Mountain Mute with Subtech 6 payload. Coming up at the T-minus 20-minute mark will be the pole to continue into the terminal count. Our window this morning, uh, we're targeting a 4.32 a.m. launch with a four-minute launch window, so that runs till 4.36 a.m. Eastern Time. This uh, four-minute window is being driven by the science observations, the ground cameras of the um, of the vapor tracers that will be released from the payload during the mission. TD, RSO-1. TD, go. Roger, balloon 7, we are out for elevation. Uh, we've launched, or we are about ready to launch another balloon and see if we can get uh, more data uh, prior to T-0. Copy all. That was the range safety officer reporting that the Winds are currently driving and PMTD. beyond the limit. Go ahead, TD. I'm going to recommend that we just continue and go down and hold at three. I'm, uh, I don't know if uh, MM can hold for four minutes at three minutes. I would think so. MM, can you weigh in on that? I have a hold point listed at three minutes, 30 seconds. 
Copy, but you could hold there technically for the duration of the window, right, for four minutes? That's correct. Copy. PM copies. So again, the rain safety officer reporting that we are now red due to the winds driving the elevation that we need to set the launcher at beyond those limits that we are allowed to do that, and they are launching another weather balloon to give us some mid uh, or mid altitude winds, uh, so we can see if we can uh, come within the limit. Also, the test worker and the mission manager, uh, through discussions, were reporting that we will continue to could count down, uh, and that we could uh, continue to count down to some three minute three minutes and 30 second point where we will need to go into a hold if we uh, have not gotten the winds within the limits for that point or if we have not gotten the range cleared uh, of any boats that may be downrange in the avoidance areas. MM, SRPO. This is MM. Yeah, uh, just to make it easy on us if we have to hold, you want to hold it three minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Roger that. You copy TD? PM? T TD copies. PM copies and concurs. Yeah, that just makes it easy on us. All stations, this is the ROA. This is the 46.007 Terrier Improved Malamute Launching from Pad 2 ARC Launcher. Please stand by for station checks to proceed with the terminal count. All stations should announce status as green or red on channel 1. RC. RC green. MNO. MNO green. Photo. Photo is green. Camera 8. Camera 8 is green. Camera 15. 15 is green. LWO. LWO is green. Computer. Computer is green. Programmer. Programmer is green. Launch control. Launch control green. LPM. LPM green. PLC. PLC is green. PTM. PTM is green. ACS. ACS green. Adam. Adam green. Condi. Condi is green. CUS. CUS Green. Lynch. Lynch Green. Larson. Larson's uh, green to go in the terminal count. PI. PI. Go. PI is green. MM. <laughs> MM is green. SRPO. SRPO is green. PM. PM is green. RSO. RSO is green to enter terminal count, red at this time. Copy. TD. TD, same as RSO, green for terminal count, red for launch. All stations are responsible for reviewing the go-no-go no go criteria listed in the MOD. Only stations annotated with an asterisk in the previous step are permitted to call a hold. All other sites should report red. PLC, check item 180. Adam, check 181 and 182. TD, we can uh, skip the wind waiting steps for now. Copy that, TD. 
I think you had stated that earlier in your red line. And all stations reported green to enter our terminal account, which we have now entered. However, we still remain red for launch due to winds and also due to boats out in the hazard avoidance areas. Launch is targeted this morning for 4.32 a.m. with a window that runs until 4.36 a.m. for the Cherry Improved Malamute rocket. This is Sub Tech 6 mission. M and O PM start recorders. T minus fifteen minutes and counting. Recorder started. M and O verify CT site carrier is radiating. Carrier radiating. PLC check one eighty nine. One ninety. One ninety one. 192. ACS check 193. RC request interrogation of radar transponder. In work. MNO record RF parameters. In work. Systems are in external power. MNO check 195. PLC check 196. M&O, report TM lock. TM is locked. PTM checks 198-199. RC, report on the transponder interrogation and verify good five code. Good five code. GPS acquired and radar is tracking the beacon. TDR, so one. Go. Balloon number eight is further out. Uh, still red for ballistic winds uh, exceeding our elevation limits. Uh, we just released another, or we're about to release another balloon, and we may be able to get the data. We're going to do our best. Copy.
ACS check 201. PTM checks 202. CUS check 203. PTM checks 204. PLC, check item 206. Ten minutes counting. Adam, check item number 205. Target launch time this morning is 4.32 a.m. However, if needed, we will hold at the T minus three minute mark and count. Launch window this morning runs until 4.36 a.m. We're currently green due to winds exceeding our limits that allow us to set our launcher elevations. Our maximum elevation on our launcher this morning is at 86 degrees, and uh, the winds are, are too high right now, and uh, we would have to exceed that elevation point to give us an accurate flight. MM, this is PTM. Can you go to channel 5, please? Yep.
PDPM MM is our so channel one, meet me on five. T minus six minutes and counting. Past the T minus five minute mark and counting. Plan is that if needed, we will hold at the T minus three minute mark. Target launch time this morning is 432. Go PM SRPO on one. PM here. Yeah, right now we got uh, red uh, optical conditions and we would like to hold at uh, three minutes. Copy that, SRPO. Uh, our maximum hold will be uh, four minutes, so we'd have to pick the count up by 0433 to hit the uh, the window. TDPM, are you copying this? I copy. Programmer TD, hold the clock when we get to three minutes. Programmer copies, hold it three minutes. So we're reporting that we will hold at T minus three minutes, and we'll have up to a four minute hold. We are red due to science conditions, which means we need clear skies in order to observe the release of the vapor tracers. We are also red at the current time due to upper our, our, our winds exceeding our limits. Three minutes of holding. We have up to a four minute hold at this point. TDRSO. Go. Uh, Roger. Balloon number nine data is in. We are still out. 
uh, seeing no trending at this time in the positive directory. Copy, you are red on balloon number nine. Uh, Roger, if we launch now, we're not gonna be able to meet the, uh, the last T0 to get data. Copy. And P uh, PM SRPL1. PM here. Yeah, I recommend with the uh, red optical conditions we got, the winds we got, and everything, we go ahead and call it for the evening. PM concurs for scrubbing for the evening. TD, do you follow? Copy. Yep. And you just heard we have scrubbed for this morning's count. Due to signs, conditions, the uh, visibility of seeing vapor trace release, uh, we are red at that point, and we are also red due to the winds exceeding the limits. PTM, PLC. It's PTM. Ready to bring it down. Go ahead. Does Adam need anything on the recorder this time? Yes, uh, PLC. Can you please keep up uh, TM2 link? FTM here is still. Uh, requests to do some more testing on TM2, as well as keep the uh, flight recorder up. Copy that. Due to this morning's scrub, we will postpone the launch till Sunday morning, tomorrow morning. Launch window will be the same, 4 to 5 a.m. The NASA Visitor Center will again open at 3 a.m. for viewing the launch from that site. And also the Ustream coverage will begin at 3 a.m. Again, we have postponed this morning's launch attempt of the Terry Improved Mountain View with the Subtech 6 payload due to red in science conditions and needing clear skies, and also red due to winds exceeding our limits to allow us to launch. So again, we will try again tomorrow morning, Sunday. That's June 29th. Launch window will be 4 to 5 a.m. And all stations, this is TD. We are officially scrubbed for the night, but please stand by on your stations while we power down and safe everything, and uh, the PM will make any announcements. PM, m &O on channel one. Go ahead, m &O. We have the chart recorders are are down, and we request uh, to bring the carrier down. Copy that, that MNO. Please bring the carrier down. Copy. PLC, this is Adam. Go ahead. FTM requests that uh, we turn off a TM1 transmitter. Transmitter one's off. PLC, this is Adam again. You go ahead. Can you uh, turn on uh, TM1 transmitter again? TM1 transmitter's on. All stations, this is PM on channel one. I want to thank everyone for their efforts this evening. We will have the same reporting times for tomorrow, so please plan on being on station at the same time as you were this evening. Thank you very much for your efforts and safe travels home. Your stream coverage is now signing off from Wallace Flight Facility Range Control Center. You will try again to call and I am back to Go call ahead, orders. Adam. We'll be up on Sunday. Go ahead and uh, turn off TM23 bus and TM2 transmitter.